everyone, it's the Joy English School. I'm Chris Gorski. I'm Anthony. Today is February second. We're on pages ten and eleven, and it's day two of our article titled "The Rise of Repairs." 没错，我们今天要继续介绍“抢救大作战”，就是舍不得丢这个单元哦。在这里面的话，我们昨天简单的介绍说，你看哦，很多的这种通膨的问题啦，然后人的钱越来越薄啦，所以大家开始愿意花多一点时间去修东西，而不是丢掉直接买新的。然后呢，此外我们这样做可以得到成就感，而且呢可以保护环境。不过要注意的事情就是，你在修东西的时候要注意安全，对不对？有东西的话，可能修的时候，如果如果不擅长或是不会的话，你可能要保护自己，还是找专家来修。那我们今天要继续介绍跟这个东西有关的内容哦。All right, let's get ready to hear our story. And when we come back, we got paragraph one. Okay, friends, let's look at our first paragraph. A great way to get things fixed is with a little help from some friends. 好，我们来看第一段的第一句话。他说 ，A great way to get things fixed. To get things fixed， 这个结构其实还蛮有趣的。Get 什么东西怎么样？后面的话会用 V P P 的 fix 来表达这个东西被修好。好，说呢 ，Is with little help with a little help from some friends。好，所以他就告诉你说，一个把东西修好的一个好办法呢，就是让一些朋友来帮你一点忙。It's like the the Beatles song. I can even kind of hear it in the sentence. It's a great way to get things fixed with a little help from some friends. <laughs> it sounds like the Beatles song. Yeah, yeah, 很像哎。像像披头士的歌曲啊、哦，很有趣。Such a good song. Yeah. Okay, let's continue to our next sentence. One organization that is devoted to doing this is Repair Cafe. 好，我们看第二句话，告诉你说 ，One organization that is devoted to doing this. Be devoted to 就是指说专门来做这件事情，或者是花了很多心力、致力于做这件事情的。这个 to 不要忘记哦，它是介系词，所以后面如果碰到动词 do 的时候，要变成 doing。所以这边你会看到 one organization that is devoted to doing this。Is repair cafe 啊，我们今天的主题啊就出现了 repair cafe， 就是这种修理咖啡厅，专门到这个地方去给人家或是自己一起去研究如何修理东西的地方。This is really worth saying twice because it's a very common mistake. If you're looking at your magazine right now, pick up your highlighter. Highlight B. Devoted to, and then doing shaman, right? V I N G, just like Anthony said. This、mm. is a preposition, and you don't want to say be devoted to do. It's wrong.、Mm. Don't say that. It's something you have to remember. It's a little troublesome, but it's a pretty big mistake. Let's continue here. They help to set up locations where people can meet to fix things together in a community environment. 好，下一句告诉你说 ，they help to set up locations。这个地方 locations 的意思就是指地点的意思。它呢会设定一个这个地点 ，where people can meet。好，好，这个地方他说，在这里呢，人们可以聚在一起 ，to fix things together in a community environment。好，他告诉你说呢，大家就可以在这个地方聚集在一起。一起解决问题。好，在这个社区的环境里面，这个 en v i r o n m e n t 前面有个字叫 community， 对不对 ？community 就是社区的意思。In a community environment， 就是在社区里头的任何某个环境。它后面这句话就告诉你说，像哪些环境都是很好的这个地点哦。Let's continue to our next sentence. In many cases, or often, these meeting spots are at schools. Libraries or religious centers. 好，你看，果然他就讲细节了嘛。好，在很多情况之下 ，in many cases, these meeting spots， 好，这些聚会见面的地点呢 ，are at schools, libraries, or religious centers. 你可以知道，他们可能聚在学校啦，或是图书馆啦，或甚至是 religious centers。那可能是不同宗教，可能是道场。教堂或是精舍等等这种地方哦，就可以见了面之后一起来修东西。That's right. Just like Anthony said, a religious center can be a church, a mosque. That's M O S Q U E, or a temple. 嗯，老师刚刚提到 mosque 就是清真寺的意思，也是回教的回教徒他们会聚集的地方。啊，老师刚刚拼法也跟大家拼过，特别注意那个 k。最后那个可的声音是 Q U E 的声音，好，这是比较特别的地方。Now I have a pet peeve. A pet peeve is something that 
maybe doesn't make everybody annoyed or angry, but it makes me annoyed or angry. And my pet peeve is when companies, they make something that is very hard to fix because they want you to just buy a new one instead of fixing it. And I, that makes me very unhappy because I, I know young people, for example, they like to buy a new cell phone every couple of years, but I like to use my cell phone for a very long time. My computer, I can use it for a very long time and fix it myself. But maybe now, today, they make batteries that when they die, you can't fix it and you have to just throw your computer or cell phone out, toss it out or recycle it, then you have to buy a new one. And I just feel this is very unfriendly and bad for the environment, and I really don't like it. 嗯，没错，老师刚刚提到的 pet peeve 就是指个人的一些点，哈，可能是别人不会觉得是困扰的，但他觉得很困扰的，就是叫做 pet peeve， 很常拿来被讨论、被抱怨的东西。老师讨厌的事情是什么呢？就是呢，有一些这个公司他们卖的产品呢，本身就是啊、呃，你不太能够修。比方说，像你买了一个手机，像 Chris 老师他本身东西都用很久，都很小心，都很保护。可是如果说今天你买了一个手机，然后然后它坏，可能用一用之后，可能里面电池坏了，你也没办法修，你只能买一个新的，然后你不能够继续用下去。老师对这件事情有点感冒，我觉得不太舒服，因为你看又伤害环境又浪费钱，这样子很可惜。That's right. And so my question for you guys today is: Do you care if your technology is easy to repair or fix? Does it ever affect what you buy? Do you like fixing your things, or do you just want to buy a new one? 啊，所以说今天老师想问大家的问题就是：如果说今天像在这个科技日新月异的情况之下，如果说今天修理东西变得简单了啊，你会愿意去修东西吗？你喜欢修东西吗？还是觉得哎呀不要麻烦了，那干脆买个新的就好？你是怎么想的呢？留言告诉我们哦。Okay, and let's take a quick break. And when we come back, we got paragraph two. Okay, friends, welcome back to Enjoy English School. We're on pages ten and eleven. We're talking about the rise of repairs. Let's begin our second paragraph. Anyone can bring their broken items or clothes to one of these locations. 好，我们来看第二段的第一句话哦。所以，我们刚刚前面提到这个说，大家可以聚会的这个地点嘛，然后提到这个 repair cafe 这样的概念，对不对？好，现在第二段就告诉你了，我们在这个地方可以做什么。Anyone can bring their broken items or clothes to one of these locations. 任何人都可以把他们坏掉的东西，或是呢需要修补的衣服呢，带到这些地点里头。Now we saw this word location in paragraph one. It just means a place, but this location feels a little more specific. I would highlight it because that's the second time we saw this word today. It's pretty useful. 好，我们看到这个 location 这个字，对不对？好，在这边的话，老师特别提醒我们，这是我们第二次看到 locations 这个字的话，就给你一个很明确的地点。另外呢，在这句话里头 ，items 也会给你一个很明确的物品这样的感觉。我们不妨把这两个字再复习一下下，也是不错的哦。Let's go to our next sentence. Volunteers with repair experience are often present, and they are willing to help people make repairs. 好，下一句话就说了 ，volunteers with repair experience 指的就是指有经验的，哈，有修理经验的这些义工或是志工们呢 ，are often present. Present 就是在那个地方啊，他们都在在在场在那里 ，and they are willing to help people make repairs. 他们呢就会把他们经验贡献出来，非常愿意 be willing to do something， 就是很愿意做什么呢？ Help people make repairs. 帮助其他人呢来修理他们的物品。Now in this sentence, we see we have help, but no two verbs. So help people make repairs. But in paragraph one, we say they help to set up locations. Help is a weird verb that can use to or tabuyao yong to, but you 不可以加 v i n g. You just use your base form verb. Yun xing de dong se. Be careful here. I don't like saying help to do something, but I know a lot of Taiwanese do. It's not wrong, but I think most foreigners don't say help to verb. 
呀、yeah, ，所以在这里的话，其实外国人能能省则省的这种习惯哦，常常会用 help someone do something 或是 help do something， 其实就可以了。但是，但是如果今天讲到 help to do something 也没有错哦，只是说在就习惯上来讲，外国人喜欢走简单的路线哦。Let's continue to our next sentence. What's more, or also, these cafes usually have plenty of tools available, so you don't need to buy or borrow them. 哇，这这个的很好哎。如果说想想看，我要修个东西，然后我要带着这个大大小小的给西到那个现场去，然后请专家修，这样好累。就他告诉你一个好消息 ，What's more， 此外呢 ，these cafes usually have plenty of tools available， 意思就是有许多的这种工具呢，在现场都有。好 ，available 的意思就是使 you can get it or you can get them。好，在这里的话有非常非常多的工具。So you don't need to buy or borrow them. 就是是，你不需要去买那些工具啊，什么螺丝起子啊，什么都不用，现场都有。你只要人去，东西带着，这样就可以了，好方便。There's a really good way to know if your item or thing will be easy or difficult to fix. 啊，所以说有一个很很简单的方式去知道说你的东西到底好修不好修。And you just look at the screws or how many screws there are. What kind of screws are they? If they're regular screws that you could just you could use at your house, it's probably going to be okay to fix. But if there are no screws or there are strange screws and you have to buy a special tool, this company is telling you we don't want you to fix this. Wow! So I tell you, if you want to fix something, the teacher told us a very important secret. You look at the screws, you know. If it's a regular screw, the screws are not that many, so it's not that bad. But if it's a good screw, it's not that bad. But if it's a good screw, it's not that bad. But if it's a good screw, it's not that bad. But if it's a good screw, it's not that bad. But if it's a good screw, it's not that bad. But if it's a good screw, it's not that bad. But if it's a good screw, it's not that bad. But if it's a good screw, it's not that bad. But if it's a good screw, it's not that bad. But if it's a good screw, it's not that bad. But if it's a good screw, it's not that bad. But if it's a good screw, it's not that bad. But if it's a good screw, Need more experience because you have to buy extra tools and you don't know what's on the inside. It's kind of troublesome. Hmm, 没错 Okay, with that, let's take a short break. And when we come back, we have our final paragraph. Hey friends, welcome back to Enjoy English School. We are talking about the rise of repairs and the repair cafe. Let's begin our final paragraph. The idea for repair cafe came from Dutch journalist Martin Postma. 好，我们来先告诉你了 ，repair cafe， 它这个创意到底哪里来呢？我们在这一段就看到了，它第一句话就说了 ，the idea for repair cafe。Came from Dutch journalist Martin Postma. 好，原来是一个好荷兰的这种记者，他的名字叫做 Martin Postma。他想出了这个点子。She noticed that people in her home country threw away many things that could easily be fixed. 好，他告诉你为什么呢？因为他注意到 ，she noticed that people in her home country， 好，他自己在这个荷兰的这个地方呢，看到很多很多人 threw away many things that could easily be fixed。好，明明是很容易就可以修好的东西，好，他只是这样稍微坏掉了一点点，人家就把东西丢掉了，完全不去修理。他看了这个很痛心。I wonder today, do people throw away a lot of things because it's hard to fix? They don't know how to fix it, or they just don't want to fix it. I don't know. 嗯，我也不知道。我觉得很有可能是想换新的了，那旧的又没坏，换新的哎，就只是想换新的。所以搞不好旧的东西它没有坏，它也是把它丢掉。I I have to use something until it breaks.、Mm. I, I'm that kind of person. I I don't like to just buy a new one, buy a new one.、Mm-hmm. But that's me. I I don't know what most people are like. Yeah, 我跟你一样，我也是走那种用掉坏为止。就是要用到真的坏，然后你修一下再坏一次。嗯，没错，没错，没错。对对对，不然这样好浪费哦。Yeah, I feel bad. Right. Okay, let's continue to our next sentence here. She wanted to do something to reduce 
or reduce the amount of waste and protect the planet for future generations. 好，所以你看嘛，他看到这种情况很痛心，对不对 ？She wanted to do something to reduce the amount of waste. 她希望能做点什么来降低 reduce 降低 the amount of waste 降低我们这个垃圾生产的这个数量 and protect the planet for future generations. 也顺便帮助我们未来子子孙孙能够保护这个环境，保护我们的地球哦。Now we can highlight the word waste, and and waste is just another way to say garbage. And yesterday we talked about garbage versus trash, but let's review it again really quickly because it's a really useful difference. Remember, garbage smells bad. Your garbage is in your kitchen or the bathroom, but trash just looks ugly. It's something that's broken. Maybe the chair leg is broken, or the table has a big old crack in it. Something's wrong with it. That's gar trash, and it doesn't smell bad. Yeah, 没有错。所以这个 garbage 想到就是臭臭的、湿湿的。然后 trash 的话，只是东东西缺损了，看起来不好看。这样子的话就很好记喽。Postma opened the first repair cafe. In Amsterdam in 2009. 好，所以到后来他采取行动了。Postma opened the first repair cafe. 他就开了第一家这个维修咖啡厅呢。In Amsterdam in 2009， 就是在二零零九年时候，在阿姆斯特丹这个地方开了第一家维修咖啡厅。I, oh, I remember around this time that people in Europe were saying they want the right to repair. And this is something that most Americans don't really have. That the companies can tell you you can fix this or you can't fix it. But in Europe, they said no, 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 no. Of course, we have the right to fix or repair our things, and we don't have to throw away our nigga. Someone quite a nigga soji because the battery is dead. That's crazy. That's wasteful. That's not. It's just unfriendly. And Europeans today. All of these companies are forced to make things easier to repair, but we don't have that in America, and I think the Europeans are right about this. 嗯，没有错。提到这个东西，老师刚刚讲到是说，很多时候，其实公司呢在制作产品的时候，有的时候如果他们把东西变得很难修理的话，其实有点妨碍了我们修理我们买的东西这样的权利，对不对？其实事实上，呼应老师刚刚所讲的，其实我们我最近看到一个新闻，就是欧盟。EU 好，他们呢已经立法了，确定说所有的这些电器产品都必须要具有那个 USB Type C port，、yes. 就变成是说要有这样的。Right. 所以他其实因为这个法令下去之后，苹果公司呢受到很大的冲击，因为苹果它常常就是一些可能电器用品啦各方面跟人家的规格不同，所以到后来你用坏了就得丢掉，这样造成了非常多的这种。电子垃圾，我觉得这是一个很大的问题。我我感觉到 ，it's like stealing my money. If I'm being honest, I 我感觉到你偷我的钱就是这样。I、嗯、so how I, I feel very strongly about it. Yeah, 没有错，真的是这样。All right, let's continue here to our next sentence. It was well received. That's the first repair cafe. So she started an international foundation in 2011 to help local groups run their own repair cafes. 好，所以到后来呢，二零零九年开了第一家这个咖啡厅之后呢 ，it was well received。好，这个用法很好，就是呢，反应非常热烈，好，大家都非常喜欢。So she started an international foundation in 2011。好，她在二零一一年的时候呢，她又另外建立了一家 international foundation 这样子的一个国际基金会。然后她怎么做呢 ？To help local groups run their own repair cafes。好，又就变成是，如果说今天你想要经营这样的维修咖啡厅的话，我们会帮助你去好好的经营这样子的咖啡厅，去提供一些协助。所以这样的话，更多的咖啡厅可以帮忙修理东西的咖啡厅出来之后，这样的话其实就更环保了。Our next sentence says groups in Australia, France, Germany, and other places followed her lead. And now people can find repair cafes around the world. 好，最后要告诉你结论就是什么呢 ？Groups in Australia, France, Germany, and other places. 好，很多地方像是澳洲啦、法国啦、德国，还有其他地方 followed her lead， 就是指好就照着她的方式来做，好就争相仿效。And now people can find repair cafes around the world. 在世界各地，现在都可以看得到这种维修咖啡厅在各个地方出现了。Okay, friends, it's time for vocab review. And our first phrase. Oh, this is a good one. To be devoted to noun 
or a gerund, v i n g. 嗯，没错，就是指致力于去做。好，不要忘记这个 to 是介系词后面接名词或 v i n g. Number two is a noun. We have a location. A location 就是地点。Number three is an adjective. Religious. Religious 就是指宗教的。Number four is a noun. A volunteer. A volunteer 就是志工、义工。Our next word, our next phrase is to be willing to plus a verb. 好，下一个呢就是 be willing to do something 啊，就是加一个这个动词，就是愿意去做什么事的意思。Number six is a verb to reduce. To reduce 就是降低。Number seven is a foundation. 基金会。好，它的是一个名词。And lastly, number eight, to follow one's lead. To follow one's lead 就是愿意去跟着他做什么什么事情。Now remember, before we go, tell us your opinion. Do you care if your technology is easy to repair? Does it change what you buy? Do you like fixing your things, or do you just want to buy a new one? 嗯，没错。好，最后我们再提醒一下，我们想知道的、想问你的问题就是，你会不会很在意说你买的东西是很好修理的呢？这会不会影响到你的购物的这个决定呢？还有，你喜欢修东西吗？还是你想说干脆买新的就好了？记得留言告诉我们哦。Yeah, tell us. We'd really like to know. And with that, for Enjoy English School, I'm Chris Gorski. I'm Anthony. We'll see you next time. Bye bye. bye.